Right, let's make some couple. These are the big ones from West Paul. And we will have featured some of our lovely homemade treats. So these ones are mainly carrot and sweet potato. Then we have these beauties here, which are also a homemade treat and they have um, a bit of sardines in them, but also broccoli and spinach. They come in this lovely paw shaped form. So I pop them, the ones I want to use on the plate, simply so they can defrost a wee bit and we can put the rest of them back in the freezer because it's really, really hot. So to each one for each dog. And I'll make sure I pop these ones back in the freezer. Then we have some homemade food. So I prepped some carrots, broccoli, minced beef, spinach, and some supplements. And we will pop them in the top it simply because my dogs love them. You can obviously also stuff these with their normal food, like whatever they get. So you can either use um, raw, you can use kibble, you can use the wet food, you can use a mix, you can use whatever you want. So my dogs usually get um, not home cooked food, so this is just what I do sometimes. They get homemade like kibble toppers, but they get kibble, they get wet food and um, I tried to feed raw, I don't feed raw anymore. Um, I had Rambo on raw for a time, but yeah, he's back to canned food and um, kibble mostly as are my wadis. Um, I'm not a nutritionist, so this is not a blog about what are the benefits, what are the, um, you know, the evil side of kibble or whatever. So yeah, this is just how we do it. And basically this is it for the filling so far. I'm not going all fancy today with all the toppings because it's warm and yeah, they don't need that much food. So um, yeah, we're gonna make it a nice refreshment. It's still enough food for everyone. So, um, but yeah, I'm not going crazy with like another extra topping, etc. with like Greek yogurt, etc. So this is more their snack. Make sure I pop this in properly. So you might wanna be careful with the hole. Um, the toppers have a hole here, so I don't have a toppers stopper, so um, to fill this hole, we have one to pop on the bottoms, but for the big ones, I'm pretty fine without. So, yes, this is what they look like right now. You might want to make sure if you want to put in any fluids um, that it doesn't drip out because it otherwise can get a bit messy. And then I just take on three small bits of the JR Pet products, the beef ones, beef coins. So these are the beef coins from their pet products and I got a whole kilogram because I have three dogs and they eat quite a lot. They usually buy bulk sizes. Yeah, so just fresh meat. Oh, one and a half kilogram actually. Um, just to have to add like a little bit of crunch and they all love them. And a bit of chicken jerky. So we have one big piece of a chicken jerky and just half this one. Pop it in, pop this one in, and pop this one in. And then the tiny bits I just pop on top so it's like a nice crunchy bit. And that is basically it. So these are our toppers for today. And this is what our lovely topper look like. So here we have them, all three. Homemade cooked minced beef, some veggies, some supplements, homemade treats, some jerky, chicken jerky, and a beef corn. Right, so, Petrushin, the goes here for the Rambo. There you go, my love. Yes, ready? Yes, ready? Let's go. There you go. That was fast. I'm for paint. Wanna go? You ready? Yes? There you go, my love. Such a delicate eater. Yes, you're such a delicate eater. 
taking out everything. 